Welcome to our seventh unit in calculus. This will be our last unit before the AP exam. And in this unit, what we have to do is we have to pull together a bunch of random topics. Um, we're going to start out by uh, working with uh, one last derivative situation that we did not explore in our first semester. And then after uh, this first unit, the next next uh, units, or next, uh, sorry, not unit, but after this first video, the next couple of videos are going to explore some other relationships in terms of integration. And uh, then we're going to apply the integral a little bit more in some um, exponential growth type stuff and exponential k type stuff. And uh, we'll get into that a little bit later on in the unit. This first video is going to explore the derivative of an inverse function. And what happens is that um, f has an inverse function and that the, the function g the function g is the inverse of f, and so g is the inverse of f. That's the way it's written. And we're looking for the derivative of um, we're looking for um, the derivative of g. So we're looking for the derivative of the inverse. And we can't that f prime of g of x cannot equal zero because we're going to be dividing by it. And so um, what happens is that if you're looking for the derivative of the inverse function, we don't actually have to find the inverse function. We can apply this relationship, which is just 1 over the derivative of the original function at the inverse, at the value of the inverse, or whatever you're trying to find. Okay? I just have one short example to show with you, for you, and the first problem set is very quick, uh, very easy to, to do. So let's say that our original function is x cubed plus 2x minus 1. The derivative of that function, f prime of x, we're going to need is going to be 3x squared plus 2. This point p falls on g. Okay, So the point p falls on g. So the relationship is this. I want to know what is g prime of 2. And g prime of 2 is 1 over f prime of g of 2 g of 2 is 1. That's given to us. Okay, so really I'm looking for 1 over f prime of 1. If I find f prime of 1, f prime of 1 is 5. So it's 1 fifth. It's as simple as that. Notice that I never found, I never found at any point um, the actual inverse function. So this whole first part of the whole first video, or the whole first uh, assignment, just deals with this one topic. We'll also, I'll take a look in class with a couple of uh, multiple choice questions that the, the AP folks will give you in the terms of this topic. Uh, it's a very quick, easy uh, multiple choice question, if provided that you remember this relationship. If you don't remember the relationship, the 1 over f prime of g of x, um, that's going to be a real problem. So good luck on this first video, um, and I'll be uh, in class tomorrow to uh, help you clarify this if, if need be.